Chief Hollow, and today we got ourselves something different to do. It's raining out. We could probably use a fire. And I have a high chair to repair. So, fix it without Gorilla Glue. So here we go. Let's lug this in. i got to put the strap on here. We'll explain that as we go here. jacket on for a bit. This one will do it. It's about it's cool out. It's rainy. And let's light a rare fire first. watch these boys probably got a squirrel or a mouse in the woodshed wow let's do this I'm chilled okay so there's enough room there there's nothing gonna burn Light her up, boys and girls. Let me see here. Let me see here. There. Hey, that looks pretty good. Okay. fits flat. Okay, a couple pieces of hardwood on each side. A couple more. Kindling. Fill it up. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're over here. Oh, this is a nice piece. Let me see here. Doesn't look like you're in the right spot. There we go. That looks better. We'll get this going, get some heat in here. And what else?
Let's get some real skinny stuff going here. So this uh, second high chair, I can't see where the first one came from, but for the grandkids when they come over, which is not very often, but uh, my wife drove home last week. Somebody was throwing a bunch of uh, baby stuff out, and they they sent out. A, on this, what I mean sent out is, is that they uh, don't want it no more, so they sent it out to the road. And uh, for anybody that wants it, just pick it up and take it home with you. So my wife, with the crow type features that she has, anything that's shiny on the side of the road or in the ditch, she'll do everything to go get it. Anyway. It's not bad, actually. So, just poor weather today. It's uh, started raining about three o'clock in the morning. Of course, the dogs are out first thing in the morning, so we've got to contend with. dogs all day. Newspaper. Let's have a chunk of that. Now, I used to watch a fellow, but he passed away. His name was Eric. And he would have, uh, on his YouTube channel, he would have uh, Wood Heat Wednesdays or something like that. And he showed me, and it does work, it's pretty good. Take a newspaper, you crunch it all up, roll it around, tie it into a knot, good knot, and stuff it into the fireplace. Now, I'm not sure the purpose of the knot, but I think what it does... It, uh, the outside of the knot, the watch this, okay? This is tight, so that when you make a knot out of it, it still has loose, loose ends that can burn. Says, put about five of them in there. Right now, I can't get no room. There we go. Last one. Coveralls in the wash now. Oh, yeah, here we 
we go. Fire it up. Right. Okay. Introduce a little draft. Get it nice and flickering. You listen careful. And it ain't gonna go. You damn thing. That's still trying. Uh, I'll have to go in the house and get one of those other ones. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe. I can hear the wind coming in through the door. Oh, what do we got here? Maybe. I feel lucky. Do you feel lucky, punk? So I'm curious, at the end of my videos, I've been putting in two clips for the last couple of hundred videos, I think, and if you watch Mapleberry Farms, that's another New Brunswicker uh, YouTube channel, you'll notice that uh, he puts in clips all the time. Here, there, and everywhere, and other YouTube YouTubers do it as well. Just trying to straighten the legs of this thing out. So, am I doing something wrong? Will the company get a hold of me and give me old hell? Threaten to sue me? Or? Is that little clip insignificant? Because I'll do something different if uh, the consensus is, is that I'm doing something wrong. So I sure as hell wouldn't want to uh, get myself into a bunch of freaking hot water over something stupid like that. Anyway. Oh, it's cold over here. Temperature right now is uh, 47 degrees in here. So let's uh, take a look at this thing and we'll figure out what we're going to do. Now the reason why I got the Gorilla, okay, first things first. The strap that was originally on this thing, one of the buckles 
was missing. And of course, you can never get a rep prop the proper replacement uh, buckle for it. You can look, you could search for a million places for it. So I bought a new one, and I bought a strap. Went to the seamstress where I get my cover all sewed up, and bought a new, uh, or got her to sew these bits together. So what we got now is. Fix that and it goes through. There's a little slit down at the bottom of the chair and fix all the screws on it. And on this, the glue is I'm going to take a look at this. There must have been something to clip on for the baby with the belt system that they had on it. And uh, I'm going to get rid of that. I'll do that first. Over here. Now. Where the hell did all my screwdrivers go? Now, I think what I'll do, the reason why I'm taking this part off, oh, there goes, the hunting continues today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little tab off of there because it's got a scratchy part on it. And what I was thinking of doing was just sticking some uh, some toothpicks or a match in the hole. And then clean it up a little bit, but I don't think I have to do that. Let me see here first. Uh, where's the sand? Sandpaper. Never have sandpaper here. <coughs> so instead of that, I'm just gonna do this. That'll give the baby something to play with. There. That's not rough. sure that this fits. Nice and tight. There, the fire's going to beat, to beat the band. And and now we got different size screws.
still different. fancy screwdrivers and there's the bit I need right. and still not the right one That's a dandy. That's a gym dandy. That don't work either. I'll shoot that there. <laughs> Interesting. Next. On the hill. I don't know what they did, but they did a damn good job of it. Now I gotta dig it out. I think it's full of baby crud. Full of thousand year old baby food or something. Right. Need a smaller or a finer point. This is it. So, this is what we got going here. These little heads are full of crap. Get the idea? So, See what we can do about getting that out of there. Every time I do these little projects, they seem to get more intense each time. All I want to do is tighten it up. There we go. There, that's better. After all, we put a grandkid in here. And you sure wouldn't want to see them slip out and fall onto the floor. And all this screaming that go with it. Pretty 
close. There's probably a cure for something in here. screw it in there and oh. make sure we don't want to freak this part up see from there. Let's try it over here. Bend you up a bit. Yeah. semi tighten it all back up. they had it before now I gotta get that tab underneath that bar and then all they did is stapled it on there so we're close to completing this task that and there's missing a screw so we can fix that too. Whoops. She's loose. 
loose now. The goose is loose. That's good. So where's the hole here? There it is. Now we need one more screw there. And let's fix that now. Just so happened to have a stapler handy. All right, now okay. Of course, they don't have a hammer here now. Where the hell did that go? find a hammer. That's always on my desk somewhere. Okay. sure it's secure. Alright. Yeah, if you don't freak with it, it won't come apart. Okay. Let's tighten these up. one. Pretty simple fix actually. And I think this thing's made out of maple, to tell you the truth. Okay, so I need two screws now. Oh, 
Okay, we're down to two screws, so there's one there and one there. And here's the one that's missing from here. Okay, so I just got to fish out one more screw. When we're done, we can just sit here and kill the rest of the day. With... Where's all my screws at? Put the little nail back. Alright. You don't want one like that. That's for sure. Alright, let's find one. Hmm. Okay, what am I looking for first? Just a nail screw. Just got to make sure it's long enough. And it's got a proper head on it. So, something just a tad shorter than that one. Good enough. Finished. Completed. Finito. <coughs> Didn't have to use the glue either. So we'll do this. I don't throw out too much. Now, when I'm in the city, I'll go to the baby department and I'll figure out what that extra strap might have been for. Because under here there's a snap that you can snap something onto that would have snapped onto this tr tab on the tray here.
and that it would have to be between the baby's legs to keep the little bugger from slipping out. All right. Well, here, we'll just do this, this last little piece. This is a tippy tripod. All right. Tighten this up a little better, maybe. Okay, so there you go, Winnie. That's all, folks. I'll be back.